time to turn out the chatter, even the leaf blower outside, I hope, and tune into yourself for this mini yoga, 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Today, we're going to be working on stabilizing, opening the Manapurna Chakra, which is lighting your fire, right here, willpower, and its relationship to the hips. So, just now, even if you're sitting in your chair, uh, let's just hold right here, underneath the where the rib cage starts out, spreads out from the sternum. Just hold there and imagine what's going on in the back body and bring it together, okay? Bring it together. To do that, you'll have to engage the abs. Okay, so we want a nice big sun here. It's June 2nd and the sun is approaching summer and it's big. Okay, so we want it big. Now, for experimental sake, just let this sun collapse and you feel the slackness in your hips. So let's expand the sun front and back, okay? And we're going to do Ganesh Asana. Ganesh is the elephant that overcomes all obstacles. So you can do this seated in the chair. So the way I'm going to do this mini lesson today is show, oh, I believe it's, oh, what, about four or five poses on the mat and then repeat those poses on the chair. So those of you who would like to repeat on the mat can do so, okay? So we're all doing Ganeshasana. So notice the stabilization of the hips. The hips aren't moving, okay? I'm moving from the waist, my shoulders, my back is moving. And sometimes this is, not, this is not easy, particularly easy, because we tend to wire up the hips to the shoulder through habit, through injury, through discomfort. But naturally, the hips and shoulders are independent. The movement is independent. Okay, so next, you can sit cross-legged or continue to stay in Virasana. We're going to do a hand mudra and activate our Mulhara chakra with the sound Ram, Ram, Ram. So weave the fingers together and then make the middle finger upright, okay? Press the thumb side of that hand clasp right below your sternum. Okay, press it in and press your sun chakra against the hand. Drop the elbows, melt the shoulder. Inhale, exhale, close the eyes. Rum, 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 rum. And we'll repeat. Try to see if you can lower your voice or lower your breath so that you feel the vibration of the bija coming from this spot. Okay? Rum, 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 rum. practicing that on your own, you can do it for a longer period of time. But we're having a mini lesson today. So first is Uttanasana. But before we stand up, before we stand up, let's weave our fingers, turn the palms out, and lift up. So here, moving the navel back, the sternum back slightly, 
and squeezing the upper back, dropping into the hips, straightening the elbows, okay, lengthening the torso. Okay, and then weave again, but opposite of what feels natural, and repeat. Navel slightly back, sternum slightly back, elbows straight, pushing the palms up, dropping the hips down. So be aware of your Mulahara chakra right here. And now come on up. Okay, if you need a chair, you can have a chair here. Now, Uttanasana. Hands to the floor. Now, we're working here and here. So, I'm not bending up. Okay, keeping it flat. Which means you may need to put your hands on a chair. or use blocks. Or very delicious, I think I showed you this last week, is to put the chair there and just fold over. <coughs> so whichever variation of Uttanasana you chose, let's all do it together, keeping this open. Sorry, it's not Mula Heart, it's Mani Purna. Sorry, chocolate. And come on up. Next pose is down dog, and I'm going to give you two variations. Okay? If you have a chair and you want to do your down dog like so, or the more traditional entry into Adha Mukha Savasana. Fingers spread, hands spread wide, middle finger forward. Curl the toes under, inhale, exhale, and come on up. Now, since we're really focusing today right here, if this is impossible, you can bend your knees to stretch the torso and keep your Manapurna chakra open, your yellow chakra right here. We want it big. While you're in your Adha Mukha Savasana, whether you're bending your knees or holding the chair, Expand the yellow chakra. Expand here. Make it big. Feel the space on the side ribs. On both sides, feel the space behind your heart. Let it glow. You can either walk your finger hands, feet towards your hands, bend your knees and come up, or go back down and then come up this way, whichever works for you. Next pose is Pazurita Padottanasana. Okay, so legs are wide. I'm using the outside edge of my foot, pressing down, lifting the arches on the inside, so I feel the energy coming up into my hips. Now, doing all that work with your feet prevents you from 
letting your hips get loosey-goosey. So we want very stable hips, and to do that is working legs, okay? So the Manapurna Chakra is flat. We're gonna extend, it's somewhat like down dog with open legs, but with long back. Again, if holding blocks isn't working for you, you can hold the chair. And I'm demonstrating holding the chair for you. But I am pressing more using the blade on the little toe side of my foot and lifting the inner arch and lengthening, opening the fire here, the big sun. And breathing into the big sun as if I'm throwing fuel onto the fire of my big sun. My hips are stable. Now I'm going to take the blocks, okay, if you're holding the blocks, and walk over to the right, okay? Lengthening more on the left side, but keeping the hips stable. So when I move to the right, the weight is equal on my right and left foot. I didn't shift the weight. If you're on the chair, you could do a mini shift, I guess, to the side of the chair. And then when we go to the left, I'm going to turn around. Okay? So we're going to the right. And we're going to walk over to the left. But the hips stay where they are. Of course, you can use the higher part of the block. And my son is staying big. Next, go back to the extension. And bring your hands in closer, extend the head out. So this is kind of like SpaceX Dragon Rocket, okay? So the tailbone and hips are planet Earth, and your head is the rocket, okay? The fire is right here. So this is stable. This head is moving forward. If you want to grab your ankles here, go ahead. And then we're going to wiggle out. Okay. So, now I'll repeat the instructions for people who are sitting in the chair. So, in the chair, you did the Ganesha and the hand mudra. And this, you did that without any problem, okay? So then what we did was Uttanasana, forward bend. So we want to keep this open and come forward as far as you can without cashewing your back, okay? Some people may be able to hold blocks on the floor, if that's not possible here. But again, like SpaceX, Dragon Rocket, your hips are glued to the chair and your head is pulling the spine up out of the pelvic bowl, okay? Uttanasana on the chair. Next pose was down dog, Adho Mukha Savasana. So you can sit towards the front of your chair, extend your legs, 
and lift the blocks up. Oh, my arms aren't there, but believe me, they're still there. Okay, so I'm holding the blocks, and what I'm really concentrating on is here. As big as it can get, right there. To make it big, you have to use your abs. Squeeze the upper back. And breathe. Of course, those repeating the pose on the mat, you're doing down dog and bending your knees if today you need to bend your knees. So that's down dog on the chair. Next is Pasarita Padottanasana. Okay, so you can sit on your chair like so and take the blocks. Now you may need four blocks or another chair in front of you. Okay, maybe another chair in front of you or a table. But you want to keep here open. Meaning, don't go sideways. Okay, so we don't want to circle the back, but keep the back flat. So that may mean a table. Okay. So wherever you are, hands on the block, hands on the table, with this open and back flat. And you can move your hands wherever they can move to increase the stretch without <coughs> shrimping the back. Here, even using the chair, I press down on the little toe side of the little toe blade of my foot, the little toe side of my foot lifting the inner arches. If it collapses and you're not using your feet, you will feel that your hips go slack, okay? That you have, you know, they're like unmolded jello. We're here, they're firm. Then you can walk to side. Make sure when you go from side to side, you're using your feet. If I let go of my feet, my knees collapse, my buttock lifts off the chair. And if you're on a table, you can go from side to side on the table. And this one is very delicious. If you can Move back into your chair, assume the uh, chair version of Pasarita Padottanasana with the energy on the blade side, of the, the little toe side of the foot. Grab the rung of the chair and really shoot the rocket, keeping your hips on planet Earth, okay? You can also put your heels up here. This was one of my beloved teacher, Dasa Oppenheimer's favorite in the class poses. And I'll show you this sideways so you can see what it looks like with the heels on the chair. And hips are way far back and rocketing the spine up Hips staying on earth. Okay. So we can end the, po the class. If you're on the floor and you have repeated those poses, just sit in any comfortable seated position. Close your eyes. And note the cool air entering your nostrils, going down into your hips, and the warm air exiting. And just follow the breath. We'll follow it for three inhales. So that's 
it for today. I'll see you next video. We will continue to work with the Mahaparana Chakra and the hip stabilization on Thursday. On Friday, we'll have a meditation, collective meditation, to calm the violence and disruption and division in our country. So, I will see you Thursday.